hi, this is Tina from Ivory Moon Designs. Um, I'll leave that there just in case you can see it because that's got my my details on. Um, um, you can buy from me or join my team or team, sorry, or just request a catalogue and I would be happy to send one out to you free of charge. Um, today I'm going to do another very quick Christmas card and I've just realised I've left something already. I thought I was I was so convinced I've got everything ready today. Right. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of garden green card. And I'm going to put it into portrait mode. And I'm going to cut this at 10.5 centimetres or 4 and 1 eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to score it at 15 centimeters or five and seven eighths of an inch and then when I do that I find that I have a little little tiny tiny little lip there which is brilliant because it makes it so much easier for people opening the card right now so we've got our base card and we are now going to cut a piece of the festive farmhouse uh, now I know my card measures 14.8 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres. So I'm going to cut my paper at 14 point, no let's do the smaller way first actually, 10.5, so 10.5 centimetres, which again is 4 and 1 and 1 eighth of an inch. No, that's not going to be right, is it? Because that's going to make it... That's... Oh, I thought that was wrong. Silly woman. What have I done wrong then? Oh, such a banana. Oh, of course, you silly woman. I need to do it about 10.3 centimetres. Oh, one, two, three. There we go. So that's 10 and then three of the little tiny lines next to it. So it just cuts off. Wow, that looks like it's going to be too small. It's still too big. And it is, it's still too big. So ignore everything I've just said. All right, my card is 10.5 centimetres. So I'm going to do it to 10.2 centimetres. Do I want to do it to that or shall I just do it to 10? five centimeters that's going to be no because that's going to be all the way around isn't it i'm going to do it to 10 centimeters and hopefully this will work out better now and then it measures 14.8 centimeters that way so i'm going to cut my paper to let's see it's 14.8 so if i do I'm knock five off that, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do it to 14.2 centimetres. And let's see if my terrible measuring works. Yeah, it gives a nice little border all the way around, which is not too bad. I really need to figure out. I thought I'd measured so well. Terrible. Goodness me. Oh, see, now before I do that, this is what I need my ribbon. Right, I'm just going to get my ribbon that I'm so prepared with. Right, okay, found it. It was hiding as usual. So I'm using the spotted one because to me it looks like little snowballs. It's so cute. And I'm going to, let's put a bit more glue on this. Okay. And all I'm going to do, you've got two sides. You've got like a flat side and then a bumpy side. And I'm having the bumpy side up. So it does feel like little, well it doesn't feel like snowballs at all, Tina. I don't know why I'm saying that, because it doesn't feel like snowballs. Because snowballs are cold. And this isn't. But I want it to be more tactile. <laughs> right, so I cut that off. 
and then just going to stick this on my card I don't like how I've measured this mm -hmm. and I think I should have put it on white card as well I think it would have looked better on white card than green but we live and learn and that's why I'm not going to change anything because then you can all see that if you do something you don't like it doesn't matter because we all do it so with my stampin stamparatus I am going to stamp out the reindeer the reindeer head from the cookie cutter Christmas which is so cute and I have it already set up in my stamparatus and what I have done is I've actually punched out three and because I want three across the card so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I did one of them because you, you don't want to see everything you don't want to sit there watching the colour in stamp it up nice and then just press it down gently. I've seen some people where they're really, really putting lots of pressure on. And you really don't need to do that. And you're going to break it. So don't do that. But if you are stamping on a piece of card and you want to do three. If you've got this right up to the very top. If you take it out and move it down two. And then stamp again. And then pick it up and move it down two again. And stamp again. You can get a nice nice three space between each one because when you punch out when you punch out with the cookie cutter gingerbread man as you can see he's got like these um, circles and a heart and a little bow tie and everything so if you put your reindeers too close together you're gonna chop them off and I know I've done this wrong now because I wanted, I meant to have it upside down because it's easier to cut, but never mind. Yet again. Um, right, uh, the colours I'm using, I'm using dark crumb cake and chocolate chip and real red. And with the crumb cake, this is where I'm just going to fill in his face and ears careful not to go on his nose and be careful you don't have to be too careful inside you don't have to be too worried about leaving marks because it's a um, ink blender alcohol blender it it dries and when it dries it all dries a lot smoother than it would do if it was any other type of pen so with the chocolate chip I'm now gonna just colour in his antlers be careful not to go out of the lines though because um, when you do use the punch it does have um, it does leave a little white edge all the way around and if you've made a mess colouring in it's going to show up so you just need to be careful with that And on mine, I'm having three, three reindeers with red noses. I'm having three Rudolphs, Rudolphs, Rudolph, not Rudolph. I'm having three of, the, of him anyway, because I can. So I'm just going to cut it there and the reason I'm doing that is because when you're punching obviously you're doing it this way up and um, because I've made that too small now to get into the thing, thing properly I'm getting a piece of paper that has sticky on one end post-it note so I can then thread that into my see and I'm doing it again upside down upside down I've got to imagine that this is a a little person because where his rain where his antlers go not where his reindeer goes where his antlers go is where the legs are so oh I'm sorry I'm totally out of shot I thought I was in shot 
all right so I'm just going to measure it up so it's all the way around like that and when you're happy with that and I'm still not happy with that so I can move it again you punch and that's the beauty of using like a post-it note because then you can do that and you can then aim it exactly where you want it which is makes life so much easier so now we're going to put our three little reindeer heads onto our card and I'm going to use my large stamping dimensionals for on the head and the body the head on the body <laughs> Don't listen, just watch. That's what I need to do because I'm just making it up as I go along. Right, now I'm going to, with the little ones, this is where I'm just going to put these on the antlers and his ears. So, top of the antlers. And his ear. Whoops, oops. Another one. But, so if you have this punch and the stamp set, you can you can churn out loads of cards. Spend the evening colouring in while you're watching telly. And then do all the cards in one go. Be really easy. Okay, so let's just take off the backing. And if you do want anything that's in the seasonal catalogue, make sure you order it pretty soon because they we stop using the that catalogue on the second of January, so you won't be able to buy them after that. Um, so if you want them now for this Christmas or for next Christmas, I would advise you to get it now. Otherwise, you will miss out. And if you're anything like me, I hate missing out on something that I really like. And like, like I say, this one is such a simple and cute card. I think I would definitely put it on white though next time rather than the green. I thought the green would look really good with the red and it, it looks good. Well, or I could have just made the paper smaller and put a white background. That would have been good as well. So there's my little card. And if you want to finish it off even more than that, if you have the Memories and More pack, for the Christmas one, which is one that you will have seen me using. Oh, I was going to say you could use a sentiment stamp, but I've used them all. <laughs> Let me just have a look in my little box because I know I have another sheet with it on. And it's here somewhere. Quickly, quickly, find it. There it is. with my little Merry Christmas I think I might yeah I'm just going to stick it straight down onto the card I'm going to do it under the middle one so it's on the ribbon and also onto the card and there you have it a really cute and quick and crisp quick and crisp oh my lord shut up a really quick and cute Christmas card is what I was trying to say so thank you so much for stopping by and watching and putting up with it putting up with me and my mouth that doesn't seem to work very well so